Welcome. This module has been designed to help you better understand the SMART goal acronym. Upon completion of this module, you will be able to clearly define SMART goals, as well as identify the components that make a goal SMART. Utilizing goals as a way to improve student learning is a proven method tested over time. In 1994, Wang, Hiratel, and Wahlberg conducted a meta-analysis including over 11,000 statistical factors. The power of student engagement in setting and monitoring goals was found second only to active participation. In 1998, Black and William concluded from their meta-analysis of more than 20 studies that setting student goals produces significant and often substantial learning gains. Finally, in his meta-analysis of what works in schools, Marzano found in 2004 that the impact on student achievement of setting instructional goals ranges from a low of 18% to a high of 41%. SMART goals have been used by other industries for over 20 years, but they are now beginning to be valued in school settings. Using the SMART goal technique encourages professionals to think in terms of results. SMART goals help us to identify what is expected and when it will be completed. We can use SMART goals to improve our instructional practice, professional practice, and increase student achievement. SMART can be defined in many different ways, but our district will be embracing the definition presented by Solution Tree in the book, The Power of SMART Goals. SMART is defined as strategic and specific, measurable, obtainable, results-based, and time-bound. What makes a goal strategic and specific? Strategic goals are part of a larger vision. They are long-term and broad-based. Strategic goals are linked to the priorities set by the entire school district. Specific goals provide concrete, tangible evidence of improvements. Specific goals are focused on the specific needs of whom the goal is intended. Measurable means being able to know whether actions made the kind of difference we wanted. A measurable goal can be measured to see a change in results because of those actions. When checking for measurability, one may ask, is this goal measurable? How will it be measured? What specific number is associated with achieving this goal? Who will measure it? With what and how often? Measurement can and should occur in a number of different ways using a variety of different tools and strategies. An obtainable goal is one within the realm of your control and doable with your given resources. Attainability is much correlated with how large the gap is that we want to close and how much focus, energy, time, and resources are prepared to put into attaining the goal. When checking to see if a goal is obtainable, one may ask the following questions. Is this goal realistic? What supports will you need to put in place to reach the goal? How will you hold everyone accountable? And finally, who is responsible for the steps? Results-based goals describe an outcome. These goals provide concrete benchmarks against which to measure our efforts. When evaluating a results-based goal, one may ask some of the key questions. Did student learning improve as a result of what we did? If we did not receive the results we wanted, why not? What needs improved? Should we try again, perhaps with a new plan? Time-bound gives a specific time frame to achieve the goal. Setting goals that are time-bound builds internal accountability and commitment. Some key questions to consider when constructing a time frame for your goals are, what are the checkpoints along the way? What is to be accomplished by each checkpoint and by whom? And what is the final deadline that must be met? Let's apply what we have just learned. Let's pretend that in the upcoming new year, you would like to become more healthy. You have a tracking device that calculates the amount of calories you burn each day, but you aren't sure how to use that information to help you lose the weight. You have been using the device and you know that you burn about 1000 calories per week. Let's create a short-term SMART goal that can help you achieve your long-term results of becoming more healthy. In order to effectively write this SMART goal, we needed to know our current status. Since we know the amount of calories we already burn each week, we can increase that amount and assume we will see results. Our SMART goal might look something like this. As determined by my Fitbit watch, 
I will walk enough to burn at least 1,250 calories through exercise this week. This goal is both strategic and specific. It aligns with the overall goal of becoming healthy and the amount of calories needed to burn directly relates to me. This goal is measurable through a tracking device and an exercise journal. Burning an additional 250 calories per week is equivalent to adding one more workout, making the goal attainable. At the end of the set time frame, there will be concrete data to analyze and determine the goal's progress, making it a results-oriented goal. And finally, this short-term goal will have a check-in at the end of the week.